2020, 2021 actually, Olympics were postponed, Olympic trials, you know, just coming a couple spots short and, you know, still just picking myself up, motivating myself and was like, you know, this is not the end. And, you know, deciding 2022, I, I got the opportunity to go to world championships, you know, we placed first overall and was just kind of boosted my confidence even more. So this last past year, I was like, you know, just had to heal some injuries and everything with classics. And then I was at championships and made the U.S. team again. Mm -hmm. So. From there was just pushing harder and my ultimate goal was to make the world championships again and i did do that and had a great finish overall honestly just you know placed um first overall as a team and then got third you know to the best of the best athletes so just going in there and you know like some type of history moment of like first person to make um all around finals or something like that and you know just had a little bit of fall on beam but was just super excited like i said um boosting my confidence into this next year so Currently now, I'm just trying to heal some injuries, like I said, and play smart, you know, mental strong and everything, and then prepare myself for classics, championships, and then on to the Olympic trials. Okay. 2021 was a really tough year for you. Yes. Um, in a lot of ways, and mm -hmm. I just wondered, does, does it feel like um, you have unfinished business after a year like that? Yes, no, absolutely. I'm like the biggest fighter. I'm the biggest motivator for myself so like I say I always have so much left in me and you know coming just like that spot short and knowing that it wasn't the end for me I just kept my head up and here I am today you know I've accomplished so many goals that you know I've had in mind so my ultimate next big goal would be make the Olympics so I'm doing anything in my passion to you know proceed and hopefully make that goal. And I also just wanted to ask because I haven't covered a massive amount of gymnastics. Yes. So I noticed like last year you didn't compete until nationals. Was that because of injuries or was that just training? Um, yes, um, I did. I was just kind of waiting out and I was like, you know, might as, might as well heal the injury for a little bit longer and then a two weeks till championships and then it ended up working out just fine. Yeah. What would it mean to you to make this Olympic team and, and looking at the caliber of the athletes mm -hmm. that you're surrounded with, how good do you think this Paris team could be? For yes, US? no, absolutely. Um, like I said, I'm doing anything in my passion, but I feel like this quad has been totally out this world. I feel like it's been super hard for everyone and um, so much talent going in. So it is going to be interesting and it's going to be really hard, but we should we, it should make a great team. <laughs> Couple of questions, like, you know, a lot of gymnasts like, you know, Jordan and, you yes. know, so on have been sharing like videos, Kai's as well. You have been a little bit quieter, I think, yes. on that side. Yes. Is this because like, you know, you've been training some like secret skills, or, like do you prefer to, you know, get, have things quiet until like the big uh, yes. competition shows uh, yes, after I've it? always been more on like the quiet side mm -hmm. of like showing my skills. I will do like little teasers here and there, but I have some new upgrades and everything and some, some good plans going in. So I would rather, you know, just keep my training plan and then when it comes out, it'll come out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just saving it for like the bigger meets and everything. Mm -hmm. I know many people on, a, on, like, on like the gym tournament have been yes. you know, talking about like the two of like the skills that you know you could get named, like the stall and Yes. And then the one on the floor. Yes. And you know you would need to go to like a fake competition mm -hmm. to get them named. Is that something that you would have in mind, or you Possibly. know just have like your yes. name and like the code of point? Or? Yes. Um, like I said, I have it in the jail code of point, so it mean a lot to me to have it in the elite code of point. So. I'm not gonna share too much, but yes, yeah. that definitely is the goal. And so just stay tuned, yeah, Okay. Look for it. <laughs> Good. I have a question about how skills like that develop. Do you envision it beforehand and think that's a skill that would be really cool? Or yeah. does it just progress organically of like, oh, I just did that and that was almost a yes. and so. Um, two different. Um, with the skill on four that I have, the one and a half twisting double back, that came from my coach. I was training when I was 10. I was just doing one and a half and she was like, you know what, add a flip. And so. I did, and she was like, let me see if this is like a thing, and so she, it wasn't, and she was like, oh my god, this can be named after you, and then so on, so I definitely say it kind of bounces off back and forth, um, the coaches, same thing for bars, I was kind of doing a Rick and Pike, and they were like, oh, you might as well try it as a layout, so definitely stems from the coaches, the coaches know a little bit more educated than the athletes, so just trust, trusting in them that they know what they're doing, and like I said, just trusting yourself, and like, oh, maybe this could be a, one, a thing one day. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk a little bit about just like uneven bars uh, mm -hmm. because you know you've done super great at like world Thank championships you. and mm -hmm. I just just a quick question about like Kellyanne and Moore. Yes. She's one, gotten one second. Oh yeah. Um. So you know she's been uh, you know training super hard, trying like aiming for like a six point nine yes. seven zero difficulty. Yes. And I think like on bars, it's mm -hmm. li literally like the one apparatus where like the scores are getting higher and higher. Yes. What do you feel about Kalia? Like you know if you can talk a little bit about you know what she's doing, her routine, connecting everything. Yes. And do you think that you you have like a margin for like improvement mm -hmm. compared to like other like the Chinese who got gold and everything? Right. Yes. No. Absolutely. Very talented athletes. From her to the Chinese, all of them. Um, 
like I said, super artistic on bars, super clean, connects all her skills, so amazing. So she does really have a nice execution and difficulty to her. Uh -huh. So, um, as well as the Chinese as well, you know, their numbers, their repetition and their consistency, you know, it shows off every time. And like you said, the scores are um, exceeding as well on bars and everything. So definitely trying to put some upgrades in as well so that, you know, I can hopefully clinch, you know, some type of bar medal again. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, just kind of bouncing off of, you know, so many of world championships and everything and you know, hitting out there and, like I said, believing in my coach to put the most difficulty out there, but ex uh, executing it as well. Maybe from like a technical standpoint, what do you think that, you know, like the U.S. have somehow like recently been lacking a little bit on balls and compared to like other countries, for example, like Russia, China, yeah. Yeah. And, like, um, and like the specialists, why do you think, why do you think some countries are like way better than the US, for example, in like the training methods or like what you've, uh, yeah. Yes, I feel like the US brings something different to the table. I mean, bars, I would say we're pretty strong as well, but I mean, it's not obviously the strongest out there, the most difficultest, but um, we have our other events, our powerful, powerful events, we have our vault in our floor and so, um, I feel like it definitely for our athletes and stuff, we're working on cleaning it up and, you know, getting the difficulty mm -hmm. on all four of it so we can stand out even more and, you know, place a little bit more on the point side and everything like that. But I feel like, yeah, um, we're all just trying to become cleaner and, you know, more numbers and everything and more consistent with everything so we can trust each other of having the most difficulty out there. Okay. We can see uh, Simone Biles and what she's gone through with, pet, with Tokyo and now yes. her, her fight, mm -hmm. even talking about fighters on this team and mm -hmm. herself. Um, you know how inspiring is that what do you what are you seeing out of her right now yes absolutely she's an amazing spot you know she did she's had so many accomplishments you know world championships being one of them and talented athlete super 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 sweet um, good to look up, look up to and everything but you know she is you know one of the oldest athletes and we all I feel like strive and you know push push each other at the same time and to having like I said having her to look up to and having her out on the mat on you it's just it's just amazing honestly and knowing that, you know, we can count on her to go out there and hit her routine is just awesome. So her comeback's amazing and, you know, hopefully she has some great things in store as well to show the audience this year. <laughs> you mentioned that she's one of the oldest, but there's also um, potentially other returning gymnasts. Yes. And you're in that category now too. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but there's also quite a few really talented youngsters coming up. Absolutely. Seems like it's going to be really tough. Yes. Even just to make this team, it's mm -hmm. going to be a really competitive year. It is. Like I said, it's definitely one of the most difficult quads to pick from. So it should be interesting. Like you said, there's babies coming up to teenagers to, you know, older athletes, like you said, as me and being one of them. So it should, it should be fun, honestly. I feel like we're all re we're working really hard, pushing off each other. And um, yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's going to be tough. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to ask you one more, and yes. that's that, um, what's the main benefit you think of the experience? Is it emotional? Is it strength? Is it... Um, just like the discipline, gymnastics has. Gymnastics is a super tough sport, and so mentally knowing that I'm strong and, you know, I've accomplished so much already, so like I said, just go, bouncing off of each goal and accomplishment, like I said, is just kind of striving me, and whatever, whatever happens, I'm super proud of myself. I'm not, you know, leaving anything off the table, so... Yeah, just knowing that I have that on the back of my belt, it's just like, you know, gymnastics is not it to the world, so, yeah. Thanks. You've differed from uh, NCAA, uh, yes. competing from Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you followed a little bit like the path of like Jade Curry, you know, uh, differing back in yes. like a lot of years. Mm -hmm. Is this, thing, is this still something that you know you have on your mind going uh, to college afterwards? Any plan for like any major, for example? Um, possibly. Um, now, nah, I'm not going to speak too much about it, but okay. yeah, some big plans come ahead. <laughs>